Hey guys, and welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today I'm here to talk about mining ergo on NiceHash. I begin by looking at a blog post on NiceHash website dated June 23rd of 2021. New algorithm Auto Lycos Ergo is available on the Hash Power Marketplace. So it is there, it is ready to be mined, they're selling hash power for it. It's just not natively built into the NiceHash miner yet. There's a reason for it, I'm going to discuss and show you how, and I'm going to show you how to mine Ergo on NiceHash. So come with me, let's get started. Let's take a quick look at some of the tools I like to normally use to decide on what I'm going to be mining with cards. So one of them would be NiceHash, the profitability calculator. It's a really cool tool because you can click compare or you can calculate on the value. So if I want to come in here and enter a graphic card, let's say I'm going to pick, let's say a 3070 LH, our card also calculate it go down this card makes three dollars and 28 cents a day is its approximate income again you have all the metrics for how much it makes and it's electric and the range i scroll down a little bit more oh, right away what do we see what is the number one coin it's ergo on auto lycos and that's how i set upon my journey that i want to find out nice hash is telling me right here that hey this is the primary coin to mine this is where the best revenue the best earnings are for you to be able to get your ROI and get the best revenue out of it. Let's take a look at some of the articles that are published on the NiceHash website. And I'm going to be having the links down below in case you want to read it as well. On June 23rd of 2021, new algorithm Auto Lycos Ergo is available on the Hash Power Marketplace. And if we go to another article published on July 7th of 2021, a word about NiceHash Miner and Auto Lycos. In this post, we will try to explain why the Auto Lycos algorithm is currently not supported and when we might add it they're worried that if they directed all that hash power that they currently have in nice hash that's on ethereum and if they directed that right at auto lycos ergo it could cause a serious security concern because it could create easily a 51 percent attack if i look at the showing statistics for auto lycos page on nice hash there's 5901 miners there's 25 active orders and it's paying total out is 0.5145 Bitcoin on TerraHash per day. That's pretty good. I want to be 5,900 number two, and I want to show you how to do it. The graphic card I'm going to be using today to demonstrate mining Ergo is a Founders Edition RTX 3070 Ti. It has a very strong core clock, and it's one of my favorite graphic cards. And it's exceptionally strong at mining Ergo, which uses the Auto Lycos algorithm. We're going to be using the same overclocks for Ergo that we normally would use for Ethereum. So for my demonstration today, I choose to use 65 power. I'm gonna be using minus 400 on the core clock and plus 1000 on the memory clock. Let's open up the nice hash miner. And we see right away we have one GPU on this computer and it is a RTX 3070 Ti if we're looking under devices. Let's go right away into the plugins tab. If you go into the plugins tab, scroll down, we're gonna be looking for NB miner. Now mine is installed. If yours is not installed already, you're going to have to click that install button to get it there. And you want to be working at the latest version. I'm currently using version 16.2, which is the latest at this time. If you're not using the latest version, click on this triple ellipsis and you're going to have to just click on enabling the auto update the plugin. You may have to close nice hash back down and start it up again for it to take effect. But you want to make sure that you're using the latest version of the miner. Once you're sure of that, Click on the triple ellipsis and you see there's a show internals button here. Click on show internals. And this is going to bring you to the location where NiceHash stores and keeps the miner. So NiceHash keeps this NB miner within this directory. Look under the bin subdirectory. So let's click into version 16.2. And you see this NB miner underscore win. Let's click into that. And we're going to be looking for a file here called start ergo.bat. When you find the startergo.bat file, make a copy of it right back in the same folder. And we're gonna name it startergo.bat, except we're gonna rename ours. Start ergo nicehash.bat. Let's edit it. And you can see right now this file says nb minor a. It's a batch file that starts a minor. Nb minor is the minor is gonna start with the dash A is for the algorithm, ergo is the name of the algorithm, dash O is the name of a Stratham server. 
Stratham server is a server that's specialized just to communicate between a mining server and a pool. So it's essentially, it's a, it's a pooling protocol. So it lets, it allows our miner to speak to the NiceHash pooling server to discover what jobs or what tasks it needs to do. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this Stratham server right here, which is pointing to Heroes, which is one of the well-known ones for mining Ergo. One thing that's good read about NiceHash is they have their own Stratum server. And this is what you'd normally use for creating a manual miner or if even if you're using an ASIC. But we're gonna scroll down from here. We're gonna be looking for an algorithm called Autolycos. Very end and find the location nearest to you. For me, it's USA East. I click generate this address. I copied it and I'm gonna go back to my batch file, delete what's there and just replace it. So now I just put the NiceHash Stratum server in here. And the only other thing that I need to change is, is I need to change the wallet address. So if we go to nice hash, if I could just go to my mining address, copy it, come back to this batch file and just paste in your wallet address. It's one important step is important to do here is that to name it. So we can put dot E R G O R I G. Ergo rig is what I'm going to call this one. You can call it what you want, but it's important because otherwise it becomes like a default or an unmanaged server. And if you have multiple of these, it's almost impossible to determine one from the other. So we're going to save this file right now and close it. Let's close this. We can close down the nice hash. And then we have this start ergo nice hash bash file. Before I go anywhere else, because this is in this complex path, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna make a copy of it right onto the desktop. Create a shortcut here so I can easily get to it later and just double click it to mine it. So let's start doing it right now. I'm gonna double click it. And right away you see it's calling on NB miner version 39.1 and it's mining Argo. Okay, that's great. And it's using the stratum. It's using is Autolycos on NiceHash. It login succeeded. It's ready and it's kind of preparing for its job. We see a new job is coming in right now. One thing too you'll notice is it, ergo servers do not respond as frequently as you would normally for Ethereum. So you have to be a little bit more patient. But okay, right away we see our first status message here. The 3070 Ti, it's hashing at 114 mega hash, doing 187 watts of power. And it's on ergo. And if you can reach this point, you're successfully mining ergo right now on nice hash. So two thumbs up for you if we've got this far. It's a big step forward. We're gonna let this run for a little bit. And um, we're going to see, you know, what type of numbers we're getting. But one thing to keep in mind, this computer right now, normally I would be getting probably about a third more hash power out of it, but I'm actually doing recording. I'm recording a video as we're doing it right now. So that kind of accounts a little bit for why my hash number is down. So I let a few shares come through and accept it. And I want to show you though too, what does it look like in nice hash? Now that we have this new rig, we called it Ergo Rig. Let's open up the nice hash window right now. So if we go into rig manager within nice hash, wait, we're going to come out and we're going to see something new test PC. We've had that before. That was the name of our regular PC and that's a regular managed rig and that's handled from nice hash. But now we have this new ergo rig and notice it has the word dash unmanaged. So that's a manual rig we created and we're running, but it means it's not managed by nice hash. So if Kapow or octopus or something else becomes a more profitable algorithm, it will not automatically change it. Since we manually created the rig and we're manually running it and starting it, we're responsible for it. Same thing, overclocking and everything else like that, we're responsible for it. It will not do automatic algorithm switching. So I do look forward to the day that NiceHash fully integrates auto Lycos and Ergo mining within the NiceHash miner, but at least this is a good step forward for me for right now, especially for my LHR cards. If I go into my unmanaged rig, I don't see what graphic cards and other hardware are in it but I can click on the ellipsis on the right and I can look at rig details. If I look under rig details, it will start giving me the metrics of the hashing power. I can see I have auto Lycos unpaid and it'll show up just like if it was mined as from any other card. When you're looking at that, you'll be able to see your profitability over time. You can zoom in, zoom out, do your things, as well as too, as if you go to history and stats, you'd be able to see it over time as well. The key thing I just want to point out is that it's an unmanaged rig versus a managed rig. That's why it's important to name them when you create them, because if you have a few instances of them, 
And if you don't name them, they'll all show up as unmanaged and it's extremely difficult to be able to identify one from the other. One additional point I wanna make before we move on is, what if I have a computer or a mining rig with multiple graphic cards? See, if we were to run this start ergo nice hash batch file we made earlier, it would try to run every single graphic card in there that it can. It will try to run run ergo. And that may not be what I want. What if I have a full hash rate card? I maybe like a 3090, 3080. Maybe I wanna run that on Ethereum or something else. And I just want a specific card to run on Ergo. So I'm gonna down this computer right now. I'm gonna add a second card into it and we're gonna restart it. And I'm gonna show you how you can configure the different cards to run on different algorithms independently. Oh, and I just added a RTX 3090 to this computer. So I have a simulated rig or multiple card rig, 3070 Ti with a 3090. So let's close this up and I'm going to we created that batch file we saved on the desktop before. Start ergo nice hash back. Let's run that right now. And you're going to watch because both cars, the 3070 Ti and the 3090, they're going to get pulled into mining ergo right away. And that's not the optimal situation that we want. We know we want to put the 3090 on Ethereum or something else. But we can see both cards are activated. They're both green. Let's just wait for one status message. And the key point to note here is the 3070 Ti is ID of one. So we're gonna to need to know that ID. ID one is the one we're gonna to want to enable. Okay, so we see a couple of accepted in here. Both cards are actively running. Let's close this miner down. Let's edit this batch file that we created. We're going to do it at the very beginning. After the NB miner, we're gonna add a dash D, which stands for device. And we're gonna add the number one because that's the number, the ID of the graphic card that we've seen when we were running before. Let's close this up and let's start mining Ergo again. The only difference is though this time, we're gonna see that the 3090 is red. It's excluded. It's not mining Ergo anymore. It's just kind of idle. Only the 3070 Ti is currently mining Ergo. It succeeded, it's running. While that's happening, let's start up nice hash miner. Nice hash, we go in, it shows two GPUs. We have GPU one is the 3090, and then we have GPU2 as the 3070 Ti in here. I do not want to run the 3070 Ti from within the nice hash miner because I'm already running it on Ergo in the background. I just disable this card, make sure that the 3090 is enabled, come here and just say, start mining it. And at this point, you'll see another miner opens. So it's running excavator. So the 3090 is actually running on excavator right now and the 3070 Ti is running on Ergo. We've successfully split them up. 3070 Ti is on Ergo, 3090 is on Excavator running for Ethereum. Now you know how to do that. You can just disable or enable them as you need to. An important point to know though too is if I had multiple cards I wanted to come in here, if I had three cards or four cards, I could say three comma four, I could add multiple cards here if I needed to, to specify that I want these specific cards to start up on an algorithm. In this video, I feel we've covered how to mine Ergo using NiceHash, how to create a new miner and configure it, how to use it within a multi-computer rig and only use certain cards to mining Ergo or other coins. We're seeing the numbers come up. We're seeing profit and revenue coming into NiceHash. I'm happy we could share this journey with you and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up like. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash down on that subscribe button. And until then, stay safe. We'll see you on the next video. Happy mining!